freeze dried, dehydrated, powdered. There's a few ways we've seen uh, eggs preserved for longer term storage uh, by way of commercially available products. But what about freezing? If I have a bunch of extra eggs, maybe I found a great deal. Maybe I've got some chickens and they're laying a lot of eggs. What can I do uh, to keep these eggs fresher longer? Now I've learned of plenty of tricks, coat them in uh, mineral oil, all sorts of things. But what about freezing? So I started doing a little bit of research and there are in fact some ways to freeze an egg. Unfortunately, what apparently isn't recommended is just cracking open an egg and freezing it just as is, or for that matter, freezing the entire thing. I've seen a lot of uh, pictures and even some videos online where people crack an egg into an ice cube tray, fill up the whole tray with individual eggs, freeze it into egg cubes, uh, put them in some Ziplocs or freezer bags, and, uh, and then thaw them out as needed. So in reading a little bit about it, um, it would seem that if you want to scramble them up, you can freeze them as is and they'll work fine for omelets, scrambled eggs, things like that. Uh, or you can separate the yolks and the whites, freeze the whites as is, but apparently the yolks, when frozen by themselves, uh, uh, turn into um, a very thick, viscous sort of consistency that doesn't want to act like a fresh egg yolk once it's thawed out. So the recommendations, again, that I've read in a few places is uh, you can mix, if you're going to be using the egg for something savory, you can mix a little bit of salt in with each yolk. If you're going to use it for baking uh, sweets, confections, things like that, mix a little bit of sugar in there. Apparently mixing the salt or sugar with the yolk uh, prevents it from coagulating up during freezing as it would otherwise. But you know what? I want to see it for myself. I want to see what happens if I just crack an egg into an ice cube tray, freeze it, thaw it, and try to cook it. I'm sure I'm not going to have the same uh, fresh sunny side up egg experience as I would if I use this guy right here. But I want to see what happens. I've read a lot of uh, 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 information of don't do this, it won't work. But I'd love to see exactly what doesn't work about it. And while we're at it, we'll do a little bit of scrambled as well and see how that freezes up. Personally, I'm just fine with uh, the idea of a bunch of scrambled egg cubes. Sealed up in some bags, thaw a couple out every day as I need them, work great. But let's see what happens. The first way we're going to try it is pretty much the recommended best way to do it, which is pretty much scrambled up some eggs, yolk and whites, and then pour them into a uh, ice cube tray. But I'm going to go ahead and try it that way, as well as uh, the way that is absolutely not recommended, which is to just crack an entire egg right into the ice cube tray. Now I don't need to use this entire tray or this entire dozen eggs for this, this experiment. So I'm just going to do four of each. I think that'll give us plenty to work with when it's time to uh, test it out. Well, what I read suggested that you don't overbeat them. You don't want to introduce too much air bubbles into it if you can avoid it. So if each one of these holds about one egg, I guess we'll find out if it does. Nope, I guess my cube's uh, tray is a little smaller than uh, than other ones, so this is actually going to fill, uh, I guess about seven. Yeah, we'll call it seven. Now because of what I just saw here, I'm certain that one entire egg is going to overflow uh, one of these ice cube compartments. So if I had a bigger ice cube tray, I guess that would be better. But really what I'm trying to see is what happens to this yolk if I don't do anything but crack it in here. So let's try it. Well, it didn't take up too much more room than that one compartment. You 
you know what, I'll just go ahead and do three entire fresh eggs. They're spilling over a little bit, but I think that'll give us enough to uh, really see what happens after they freeze and then thaw out again. So I'll carefully set this tray onto a shelf in the freezer and we'll come back in about a day and take a look. Well, these have been freezing uh, all night long, and I gotta say, they look pretty unappetizing in frozen form. Obviously, these were the whole eggs, and these were the scrambled ones. Um, because these bled over so much, I don't even know how well these are gonna pop out of this ice cube tray. But I guess we'll see. Yeah, yeah, that's not gonna happen. I think I have to let this uh, actually thaw for a little while before I'll be able to do that. I'm gonna stick this in the fridge for, uh, I don't know, an hour and then see uh, if I can get those out of there. Well, these have been thawing for a couple hours in the fridge, so let's see if I can pop them out of here any better. This is pretty weird stuff. That's about one egg. I think what I'll do is put the whole eggs into individual little dishes just to see how they thaw out by themselves. As for the scrambled eggs, I guess I'll just kind of put those together. I'll put these back in the fridge for a while and wait till they're completely thawed out and then I'm going to try to cook them. Well, these eggs have been in the fridge thawing for pretty much an entire day, maybe, maybe a day uh, and, a, and a third even. And um, the, the scrambled eggs here are, are pretty well thawed out. I will say the yolks of the individually frozen eggs are, are still a bit crystallized from being frozen. You know, these uh, right here, they still seem pretty separated and weird looking. Um, I don't know if that's because they're still just, you know, need a little bit of thawing or if, or if it's because of the freezing and thawing process, but, uh, I'm a little off put by the, by the consistency. It almost seems like it's starting to, you know, get lumpy on me, which is, which is kind of yucky. I'm not, I'm not really excited about the idea of eating this, but I am going to go ahead and I don't know, maybe try to make a little omelet or something out of it just to see how it cooks up. I guess I could have let this uh, thaw out for another day, but honestly, it was, you know, it's starting to get kind of weird on me. And um, it, if I let this sit in the fridge and thaw for two whole days, you know, I, I don't know if that's an egg I want to eat anyway that's been cracked and out of its shell sitting in the fridge for that long. I just don't know. I'm not feeling a hundred percent happy about about this method. You know, maybe if I really thoroughly blended it all, and then sealed it in some kind of airtight container, and then froze that, and then thawed that, but you know, I don't think it's worth the effort for me.
I mean, it smells about like an omelet as it's cooking here. I'm not going to bother putting anything in it. I just want to see how that, you know, the egg hardens up and cooks. This actually isn't a very great omelet pan, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. I guess as it's, this is cooking, uh, it's starting to act like normal scrambled eggs again. Um, I'm feeling better about this than when I first put it in the pan. Well, what the heck, I'm going to take it out of here and just uh, get a good look at it on a plate. Well, let's go ahead and cut this thing open and take a look. Yeah, I, I definitely th feel better about this than when I first started. Um, I kind of wish I put some cheese in here or something. Uh, cooked up pretty well. It's it's. I guess it's pretty indistinguishable from if I had beaten up some some uh, fresh eggs just just a few minutes ago. Mm. I'd say the taste is almost the same. I, I want to say that there's a little something different to it, but uh, maybe it's just the texture. Maybe it's just the tiniest bit more chewy. But I'm feeling pretty good about this. You know, I, I think I judged it too too quickly there at first. Maybe the uh, the beat up eggs just didn't have a chance to completely thaw 100%. But as soon as they hit that pan, they did. Now this is one of the uh, whole eggs that I just uh, froze and then, you know, dumped the little egg cube into one of these little cups and it might be hard to tell in the video, but that yolk is still a bit, I think, frozen by just a, a little bit. And and now, now if you remember, um, from what I've read, this is not going to cook up very well at all anyway. Because apparently when you freeze a whole yolk, it changes the uh, consistency of it and it never really cooks and gets runny. It stays kind of rubbery and, and coagulated like that. So this probably isn't going to be a success cooking anyway. But I feel like I want to give it a, a fair uh, a fair test by letting it just thaw out a little bit more. So I'm going to let these sit in the fridge for, I guess, a few more hours before I try to do the uh, simple fried egg test with these. Well, I ended up letting the uh, whole egg uh, thaw out in the fridge for uh, another entire night. And I guess it's completely thawed, but that yolk sure is looking weird. But let's just see what happens if we try to fry a couple up. I don't have real high hopes, nor did I have any real expectations. Well, it seems like it might be kind of stuck into this little, little uh, dish here. Oh, uh, that's... Well, that's kind of gross. Yeah, it's really hard. It's it's quite quite firm. I don't think that yolk's gonna do anything. <laughs> These do not look very pretty at all. I mean, I guess the whites are doing about what you'd expect. I don't, I don't even know what to do with this. <laughs> I'm just going to mess around and see what happens. I don't think that's going to cook into anything I'd want to eat. And I'm kind of curious to see what this one would look like if I just split it down the middle. Yeah, look at that. It's completely congealed.
There, yeah, there's nothing about that that's any good. That yeah, one almost starting to look like a fried egg. Ugh. You know, I'm sure this would be completely edible, but the texture of it is so yucky to me, there's no way I'm, I'm putting any part of this in my mouth. <laughs> Squished down, it kind of looks like uh, when, you, when you break the yolk, trying to make a fried egg. But look at that. No, 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 no. Well, everything I read seemed to be pretty accurate about trying to uh, freeze an entire yolk and then recook it. Well, the last thing I'm curious about is what if I tried to scramble up the yolk and then recook it? Although this thing is so hard. I don't think I can even do it until it's started cooking already. Ugh. That is just, there's just nothing about this that's any good. There's no re-scrambling that at this point. I'm just wasting food. If I had a starving dog, I'd let this cool down and, and I guess I'd let her eat it because she's not too picky about texture, but there's no part of this that I want anything to do with. <laughs> well, there you have it, I guess. You know, the uh, frozen and thawed out scrambled eggs seem to work pretty good. Uh, I, I could see doing that again, but I don't think I would use the ice cube trays. I think I would just mix up, uh, I don't know, three or four eggs, um, put it into some kind of small sealed container and just and do it that way. As far as the uh, freezing, the entire unbroken uh, yolk, just like I'd read, doesn't work. Uh, it's completely disgusting. Um, I, I don't really have any interest in trying to sit here and separate yolks from whites. I don't have any practical purposes for, for that. I don't really make anything that calls for that. So I'm not going to bother testing the, the option where you can mix uh, the yolks with salt or sugar, depending on what you want to make. So that's it. Um, kind of interesting. Um, more of an experiment than anything else, and I think I uh, got the results that... Um, that I needed. So that's it. Hope you uh, enjoyed or learned something from any part of this. Thanks for watching and until next time this is Great Lakes Prepping.